All right, this is a quick video of replacement of stuff into a sack. So let's start off with just placing some balls, or actually stars. So let's say we have uh, maybe five or six stars. Uh, uh, go with a white one. So we have five stars. So we have five stars. Let's say we put them in a sack. Put them in a sack. Now what we're going to do instead this time is we're going to take one out and to take one out, look at it and put it right back in. So if we were to do that 5 times, if we were to pick a, pick pick 5 stars. Oops, pick it 5 times. What what would be the total number of possible outcomes? Well, right now we have 5. So the total number of possible outcomes would be 5 times five. So the first time we picked one, it would be any of the five. If we put it back in, then it would be any of the five again, and so on. So it'd be five times, and that is equal to that is equal to five times five times five times five times five. Three thousand one hundred and twenty five. Three thousand one hundred and twenty five. And notice that is just the number of things in the sack to the number of times we picked it. So n to the power of p, where p just represents the number of times we picked it. So let's say we picked it maybe six times. If we picked it six times, well then that's just five times five times five times five times five. So then that is just equal to five to the power of six. So if we picked it six times, it's just n, or the number of things n, the number of things n, to the number of times we picked it. But that's only if we replace it. If we take it out, look at it, and put it back in. So replace. Place. So if we had maybe seven stars, oh, then n would then be, n would equal six, and let's say we pick, pick maybe let's say seven, so we pick them seven times, well that's just the number of possible outcomes is just, it's just equal to six to the power of seven. So what is that equal to? Six to the power of seven is equal to 280,000. 280,000. Right? Yeah. So if we wanted to pick pick seven stars out and we wanted each one to be pink. So if we wanted our first one to be pink, then our second one to be pink, then our next one to be pink, next one to be pink, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So we wanted seven pink ones. So we looked at it, replaced it, looked at it, replaced it. And we're assuming we mixed it up really good before we picked it out again. Then that is, this, this is one outcome out of the total of 2,800,000.